Traffic lights were invented about 100 years back. Police officers were maneuvering the traffic with their hands. Traffic lights were simply an automation of those police officers. The first traffic light controllers, they had kind of like a dial inside that was turning and changing the lights on and off based on a predefined sequence. Fast forward to today, even though most of the traffic light controllers are digital, they are simply mimicking the same mechanism. A mechanism that's 100 years old. Our outdated infrastructure has meant congestion, lost time, and increased emissions. But what if you could fix all of that overnight? We've developed an AI-based platform that allows us to transform any intersection around the world in less than two hours. No traffic is part of a movement to finally bring our cities into the 21st century and make them work better for everyone. See, so now there is no one here. Those guys are waiting in red light and that's the middle of the day, right? Um, just a pure waste of time. The average American spends over 50 extra hours a year sitting in traffic delays. And all those idling cars are an emissions nightmare. You can think about it today, the intersections are being managed by primitive devices that have no idea what's going on. Let's say that I will give now 30 seconds here, 20 seconds there, 40 seconds there, and hopefully it will be fine. Now imagine we let these devices think and talk. No traffic's technology allows traffic lights to react to what's actually happening on the street. In doing that, traffic is eased, you get time back, and emissions are slashed. The entire idea at the end of the day is to move as many people and goods from point A to point B. And the question is, what's the best way to do it? So our platform is comprised of three main parts. We have our sensors that uh, collect data. Think about it like the eyes that we are providing to the intersection. Those sensors are equipped with various components, including cameras and radars, and that allow the sensors to get rich data. And the second one is the connected edge compute device that connect to the actual traffic light. Think about it like the brain that we are providing to the intersection. The target is to enable the best traffic flow as possible or to reduce delay time. Now, this is subject to a lot of constraints. I know that in the nearby intersection, there is X amount of vehicles and a bus that's coming from the south and 20 pedestrians that's waiting to cross. And in every given second, he's running this algorithm and deciding what will be the next best step to do. The third component is our cloud management center. And you can think about this one kind of as, as a layer that, that connects all the dots. We look at this as, as one network, as one grid, because anything that you do at one intersection is affecting the rest of the intersections. The system is working completely autonomously in order to run the grid in the most efficient way. But efficiency isn't the only outcome. Making traffic light decisions in real time also means safer streets. So we look at the traffic light as kind of an authority that tell you, hey, you should go now, it's safe. In the reality, what happened is that it's not really safe, and therefore about 40% of the accidents happen at intersections. And the reason is that the traffic light don't really have any idea what's happening on the road, right? All this stuff is being monitored now remotely from the system and can indicate in real time if there is a problem. And early applications are showing that it actually works. No traffic has rolled out their tech in cities across California, Ohio, and Arizona, including in Phoenix. This is using some cutting edge technology, artificial intelligence to actually monitor intersections. It can also change lights to prioritize emergency vehicles, buses, light rail, and pedestrians. In Arizona, we did a case study and we show how we can cut the time that drivers are waiting by 54% the time that pedestrians are waiting by 22%. If we're doing kind of extrapolation for the entire county, we're getting to uh, really impressive numbers. Like we can save uh, more than half a million tons of CO2 per year. We can generate more than a billion dollars in economic benefit. And we can save more than 90,000 months of delay time. Let's look for a second at 1908. Right, Henry Ford introduced the first commercial vehicle a lot of other systems had to be invented. You need now infrastructure to support it, convenience stores and gas stations, and a lot of other stuff to support those new things on the road. I believe that we are in the doorstep of a similar era. We have transformed the car to a computer on the wheels, but 
In order to achieve real efficiency, you need to have an entire connected ecosystem that supports all types of mobility. That's what we are building here today. Thanks for watching this video, made possible by Ford. If you liked it, check out freethink.com for more stories of people moving the world.